Hello, good morning and welcome to the second of our Year 7 Digital Assemblies. This is Mr Cox and it is lovely to speak to you today. So our topic, a bit doom and gloom I know, the hard road ahead. We've obviously come through so much already, but we know things aren't over yet. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time talking to you today about what we can have to expect and what we can be doing in that time to help make it a bit more manageable. To talk a little bit about what some of us will have learnt from VE Day, which was the other weekend, to remind people about the photography competition that's going on at the moment, and to talk a little bit about what lockdown is going to look like over the next couple of weeks. So I think most of us will have realised the other weekend was VE Day, and VE Day stands for Victory in Europe Day. And that happened at the end of World War II, and it was a day to celebrate exactly that, that there had been a victory and that the war was at an end. Now, that seems really strange for some of us to think about right now. This is a, a world that seems so far away and so distant. And yet the reason I want to talk about it is because actually there's a lot of similarities and things that we can learn and link to. We're in lockdown at the moment, but we don't always stop to think about what life may have been like during another really difficult time in our history. People's homes being destroyed, people having to deal with emergencies, losing loved ones all the time. And just like then, and just like now, people had to get on with their daily lives as best they could. People still had to work in some strange way, shape or form. People often had to make huge sacrifices. Kind of ironically, the difference between now and then is instead of being in isolation like we are now and not seeing people, often to stay safe, people were crammed together. You can see at um, the bottom right there, hundreds if not thousands of people sleeping along the London underground just because it was a safe place during the bombings. It stops and makes us think how different and yet how similar our experience right now is. It makes us wonder what lessons we can learn moving forward about the sacrifice and bravery of people back then in our grandparents and great grandparents generation. And the fact that even though for some of them, there didn't seem to be an end in sight, they still were able to carry on and they got through it and they rebuilt and they made life and a opportunity for all of us here. Some of you may have even heard the other day, during VE Day, people going around singing lines from this song, We'll Meet Again. And I think it's just important just to give you a moment to think about that. This will end. This will be over. Lockdown won't last forever. And I can't promise a sunny day, especially in the UK, but I do know that there will come a point where this ends and we come back to some level of normality. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the photography competition. Now, we did send a message round and, and I'm going to continue to promote this and, and send some more information. Right now, we want to encourage you guys to do things that might be a bit different, not just the lessons that you're learning, but we want to celebrate some of the other skills you might have and give you opportunities to get out and about and doing things that are going to interest and engage you. So we've asked that you can, during this lockdown, send us a photo that you're really proud of. Now, it can be a photo of where you live, the deserted streets, how empty it looks. That could be a photo of just something everyday, normal life. You walking your dog, you doing the washing up, I don't know. It could be something to do with nature, because right now that's something, especially as we get closer to summer, that people start becoming very aware of. You could go out in your garden, or if you go out for a walk at least once a day, you might be able to take a photo of something that you notice that stands out. A plant that wasn't there before, a flower that grabs your attention, an insect that's unusual. And all I'd ask is that you'd send this photo by the end of the week to one of the email addresses on there, myself or Miss Kings, uh, with your name. And ideally, you could give a name to your photograph or, or a bit of description about it. And that would be really terrific. 
The what next is actually quite important. Many of you will be doing exactly the same as I do and every evening you will look at what the government briefing is and obviously this week we started to learn a bit more information. It's not for me, it's not even for schools at the moment to really say what next is going to look like. But I would encourage all of you who are still concerned or worried to check that out, that information, to go on to the BBC to find out what the Prime Minister and the government are saying at the moment. For us, right now, over the next few weeks, what lockdown and learning is going to look like is very much the same as it's looked like before. We encourage you to make sure you're keeping up to date with all your work online or the work packs you may have been sent home. To get in contact with your teachers if you're struggling at all or if there's any difficulties. Because as I said earlier, one day this lockdown will end, whether it's before summer, after summer, some point next year, and we will be back at school. And when that happens, we want to make sure that you're ready, you're fresh, that we don't lose any more time. So the more work you're able to get done now and the more you're able to stay on top of things, the more important that will be. So we're going to try and set you weekly challenges like the photography competition. Your teachers are going to still keep setting you that work, marking it, feeding back to you. So if you're having difficulties, email us, let us know. Please don't sit there and hope that you can just kind of avoid all the work or just play on your games console all day because the end result is not going to be great. We will return to a level of normality and when that happens, we need you at your best. So what happens next is very much the same as what's been happening over the last few weeks and up until now. And will all of us keep a close eye on what the government are saying about what changes might be happening, about what we can do. But the most important thing is that everyone stays safe, stays alert and is careful. In tribute to the VE Day, I want to use a quote from Winston Churchill just to end this. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And for each and every one of us right now, that's so important. Courage, bravery, that resilience to keep going, no matter how difficult, no matter how tempting it is to give up, to stop, to keep going. That's what matters. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. Stay safe and hopefully we can get some lovely photos from all of you for the photography competition. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Goodbye.